What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I finally got my Rudy card here and it is spectacular. Um, you know, I, I guess I was one of the, the last shipments or so and most of the time promos don't have the full art back, mind you. So this is a spectacular looking card. I mean, it's 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 absolutely beautiful. Like I said, it's one of the best looking cards um, I feel like th that I've ever seen. So this is my first box of my bundle that I purchased. Obviously, I'm grabbing the one with the dent. Um, you know, we're going to get started. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys watched the other videos yet, uh, pulling some crazy curios. But again, if you want to get in on the alpha opening at um, the Courtesan Cup, reach out to me on eBay spots are filling up. Or I'm sorry, reach out to me at, at Philosopher Cards at Gmail. Spots are filling up fast. So make sure you do that uh, if you want to get in. I tilted the camera just a little bit today. I wasn't too happy with the angle recently. We got a foil in here. Um, kind of looks like a um, battle mage. Okay, we're, we're starting off with a battle mage. Kind of looks like a yeah land surveyor. Riptide, gray wolf's land surveyor. Okay, nothing crazy. I mean, I could see. I could see them getting play a lot of play down the road though. Dark Tower. Oh, we got the box topper. Don't forget about that. Okay, we got the mummies, gargoyle, and some disintegrate. Men. Mortality. Okay. Unicorn, shark, and a nightmare. Let's see if we can get two curios from Rudy. Capus. Okay. Geomancer. The other boxes, the other Rudy boxes had seven uniques in them. Shifting sand. Oh, and he, he he started me off right. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thanks, Rudy. Um We got my stone. We got my stone. That's a that's a box that started off right. Holy cow, first unique. I don't even remember what I was saying. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Atlantean Fate. Okay. Okay. Seeing play and some enchantment decks. The Warriors. Okay. Oh boy. Rudy. I've got some crazy cards after stuff I've ordered from Rudy, so. I expect nothing less. Dryads, polar bears. Okay. Little twister. Okay. Which is that one's in the top deck, I think, too. One of the top decks right now. <laughs> Stone didn't even feel real. Mix Aqua, okay. Coral Reef, that's our that's our next foil. Nothing crazy. I'm not feeling too too on about the foil situation here at the moment, but it's alright, it's alright. Hey, when you get a stone, say thank you. Another battle mage. We've been pulling a lot of battle mages lately. Maelstrom foil. That's pretty awesome. Unique coming in. And just as I was saying that the uniques weren't heated up, we pull something like that. And it makes me want to make a water deck, doesn't it? That looks so awesome. Stone's going for around 160 or so at the moment. Nothing too crazy. Um, it was up around two 
for a while, and after all the Rudy hype dies down, Fire Harpoon's coming in for our fourth boil. Once all the Rudy hype dies down, I expect it to kind of go right back up to that 200 spot. I think that's kind of where it belongs. I haven't pulled a Maelstrom foil in a while. Okay, bottomless pit. Nice aqueduct. Island Leviathan. Okay. Man, Maelstrom. That's pretty awesome, too. Infiltrate. He's dead. Okay. Exceptional. It's in my deck. Um, I do have a bunch of raised deads in my deck, so I'll see if this can, can slot in and, you know, call it a day. Five foils. Maelstrom's a good pull, though. Maelstrom's a great pull for a foil. Master Tracker. Rides, we got another foil coming in. What do we got? Albatross. Okay. Thought maybe we might have a Sea Raider. Sea Raiders are so hard to pull, folks. So hard to pull. I can't even begin to to describe it to you. They may even be more rare than backstabs, in my opinion. Which I just got another one. Um, Got to prepare for end times, folks. When beta's out, and uh, what better way to do that than a bunch of backstabs, right? Monster Hunter, we got Valks. The Valks coming in. Grapple, Blizzard, Bats. Great Wall, okay. That's coming in for a third unique. I play a Great Wall in my deck. Oh, what do we got here? Number six, Angler, Elite. I'm sorry, that's number seven. Angler. This is telling me I gotta build a water deck, huh? That's what this is all saying. Finder, boom! What an awesome, um, what an awesome, unique pull out of this. Jeez, that's that's awesome. Give me a seven league boots though, foil. That's what I really need for my deck. That's. Be too picky here, right? Not too picky. Little lighthouse. Come on, Cerberus, it looks like. Yep. That's really not the one you want to see. Organs. Wolves. I bought two more Rudy kits. Believe it or not, guys. Two more Rudy kits coming. I should have done four more, which would have been the max. But, um... That's a lot of chunk of change at once. Ties up a lot of my cash flow. And at the moment, I've like I've been saying, I've been holding everything. I'm going to be bringing down a large chunk of inventory down to the Cortis and Cup. Um, to do some trades with folks. I'll have some for sale. You know, I'm not going to be an official vendor, but if you see me there and you want to, you know, you want to buy something or you want to buy something off me, you know, tell me and I'll try to hold it for you and potentially bring it down to the course and cup. So, you know, reach out. Geyser. Another battle mage. That's like our third battle mage in this box. How's that possible?
How is that even possible? Root. Abundance. Last time we pulled an abundance, there was a curio in that pack. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I just, I had to do it slow, folks. You never know. Maybe they're stacked with abundance. Abundance and curio like a pair. We got Master Tracker, okay. Zombies. We should have two more foils and maybe two or three more uniques. Druids. Unlikely Alliance, okay. Buried Treasure. The Warriors. Muse, Air, Pegasus. Okay, let's see. Puppet Master. All right. Deep Sea. Lightning Bolt. Spectral. Nothing crazy. Pathfinder and a Philosopher's Stone is like some top, top, top pools. Occult Ritual. Okay, that's coming in for number six for our uniques. We should still have two more foils as well. Froggies. Oh, 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 yes, yes, yes. Pathfinder with a core, with a stone. Oh my god, that's amazing. That's great. Um, wow. We may have one more unique, or that might be it, depending on... Some boxes I've noticed have seven uniques. Some have eight. We're at seven at the moment with not many packs to go, but we've got some pretty, pretty awesome, um, awesome cards there. Let's see, we got three packs left with two foils left. And maybe one unique. Maybe. Ready? Season. Scarabs. The men. Okay, two packs left. We're missing two foils. Yes. Two packs, two foils. Here we go, folks. Let's take this finale and end with a bang, huh? Worry wart. Flaming sword. Lich. Okay, we got the egg. Mad Dash. This looks kind of crazy. This looks kind of crazy. It's a giant shark. Okay. Why did I not see this in the actual giant shark? Like, I, I told you guys about that. Sometimes you look at this stuff, and it just is, like, completely different. Every time you look, it's like watching rewatching a really good movie. Um, that's just outstanding. Did not even notice that there. Harpooners, Nova, Purge. Okay, so we only got seven uniques, but we got some some crazy banging ones. Oh, this looks like a Plague of Frogs foil. Is it going to be a Plague of Frogs? It is. It's a second unique foil. Um, you know what that means, what I tell you guys about fishing spots, right? When you find a good fishing spot, stick to it. Beautiful. And this is my... Uh, my other, the Maelstrom that we pulled, we got the Core, we got the Finder, we got the Finder, and we got the Stone. We got the Stone. This is a heck of a box. I mean, 
solid by all accounts. We're looking at maybe, I don't know, 40, 50 a piece on these, you know, 70 on this one, maybe 15 or 20 on this one, and 160 on this. So we did very good just in these five cards. So thanks again, everyone. Thanks for checking it out. Keep watching the videos in the series. And remember, if you want part of that alpha breakdown in Cordis and Cup, and I'm watching on the live stream, reach out to me at uh, philosophercards at gmail.com. Talk to y'all later.